walking in there. 70, 80, 80, 80, no, 80, 000. thousand people, a sea of people. So and, insane. and, you know, I, I want to get back to the match in a second, but, but fast forwarding to afterwards, I remember when you came out and you started talking to the, to the, the guys from WWE about your performance. And I know you're incredibly critical and tactical about your performance. And you had mentioned that the way the sound from the crowd resonated there, because it was such a massive massive stadium with so many people was so drastically different from any other event that you had done. Y'all have no idea the intricacies that go into these matches. It's seriously the hardest thing I've ever done because there are so many things to focus on. And the way the sound carries is one of the minor ones. And I peeked through the curtains and I'm looking up at, you know, five levels, six levels, seven, eight levels, whatever SoFi is, and it just keeps going. And there's so many people, but these open stadiums carry sound vastly different. And as a performer, feeding off of the energy can really enhance my performance. But when we would do, do a move, sometimes that sound wouldn't carry or if it did, it went like row by row, then all the way up to the top. And <laughs> so weird, it like takes a, a while for it to get to you. So things are a little delayed and I can't or don't really feel like my full self or like I'm doing as best as I can because I don't know if people are liking the performance. Mm. Uh, We've had comedians talk about it on yeah, the show when yeah. they start performing for stadiums. The laugh after a joke can take a second or two seconds longer than a normal reaction from an audience. So they're like, are my jokes not land? Like, Dude, and it's so. something that you have to readjust to completely. So I, I remember when he got off after and he was talking, it almost seemed like you felt kind of unsure about how your performance went. I thought beforehand for sure it was going to be my best match. And then afterwards, I just didn't feel like that. I felt it was, I felt it was good. Like it was on par. It wasn't a level down, but I noticed it's getting harder and harder every time to make these matches better. It, it's when, I, when I'm picking an opponent and I'm at the bottom of this mountain trying to build what I want to be an amazing, entertaining match. Man, these mountains are getting higher and higher. And it's terrifying and incredibly complicated. I don't know how I'm going to keep doing this and, and upping the bar every time. That's like my challenge in this. But it's so much fun because I'm going to have to get more creative. I'm going to have to go a little harder. You got to go bigger, dude. Got to go bigger. That scares me. How much bigger can you get? I, I have an so idea. True. I told him this, and I hope that he doesn't do it, but it would be cool if he did. What if he brought in a top rope to build on top of the top rope? The toppest rope. So he all. climbs the top rope and then builds <laughs> with like a ratchet set another top rope and goes up to top rope, top rope. Gonna have, to do, gonna have to do a cage match soon. Yeah, a cage match for sure. Get me as high as I can possibly go. I love flying, which is why I requested the zip line. I requested this zip line <laughs> last year, WrestleMania, my first ever wrestling event, WrestleMania ever. I said, WWE, can I get a zip line in? They're like, why don't you get a match in first? <laughs> Kid. We like, don't I, even know. I was like, I, I get that. <laughs> I get that. But this year, I requested the zip line again. It got denied. And I, I was like, hey, is it like a liability thing? Can I? Can I can I convince them to do it? Is it an insurance thing? I'll cover it. And the WWE got me a zip line into SoFi Stadium for my they, birthday. They told me multiple calls were made to get that yeah, approved. Like four different companies. Yeah. Approved. By the way, they got it all done in like a week and a half. Crazy. Insane. Last very, minute. very expensive stunt. And I love the WWE so much for <laughs> doing great. this because when I was flying in the air on that zip line, I'm looking around at all these eyeballs and phones. Just pointed at me and like ever since I moved out to Hollywood, which is where WrestleMania took place this year, my goal was to be the biggest entertainer in the world. And goddamn, <laughs> in that moment, I felt like the biggest entertainer in the world. That's what your Aunt Shannon at said. Moment. She texted me and she said, Logan did it. He's the biggest entertainer in the world. Aww. At least the highest. Yeah. <laughs> shout out, Definitely shout out Aunt highest. Shannon. Yeah. Man, I have a love Aunt Shannon. <laughs> I know you do. Long past with yeah. it. Yeah. No, but I was crying. Like it was that was my favorite part. It she was messaged awesome. Me. She DM'd me that. It's uh, true. It's true. It was she amazing. Was, I'm like she was tearful. I want to do that. Too. It, 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 it was it was really fun. You would have loved it. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.